I'm Lieutenant Colonel Gabriel Zimmer, the medical director of the Family Practice Clinic here at uh, Ramstein Air Base in Germany. We uh, decided as a group here in the squadron to start the squadron visits uh, as soon as we implemented the patient-centered medical home because uh, from our previous experience we have noticed that this is an integral part of the patient-centered med medical home. The squadron visits that we started approximately a year or so ago, uh, we have seen got some, some very good results, very good feedbacks, not only from the providers here in our squadron, but also from the uh, uh, squadron commanders in, the, in, the, in our line units. When I took my squadron commanders course, um, you safety surgeon came in and talked to us about the responsibilities of the commander and our roles uh, in the health care of the squadron and what our resources were, but what they didn't really talk to us about was this relationship between the squadron commander and the, the PCM. Until we talked initially, I had no idea that we had tied a single PCM to the squadron and I had a single point of contact to talk about that information. Um, so that first visit that we came out after I had fumbled through questions regarding profiles and brought you in here where we could talk through that and actually show you around the squadron. Um, that was the, the, the genesis of what developed uh, into what we had today with the, uh, the squadron commander's call visit. These visits occur about every two, three, four months depending on the needs of the squadron and the availability of the squadron commanders and the uh, providers. Uh, and there's great feedback back and forth. And uh, some of the providers have found some very um, good information by going out there and visiting the commanders and seeing the squadron, seeing the members at work. You're gonna, you're gonna hear some of these topics and you're gonna say, it's not me. Well, I'll tell you what, look to the left and look to the right and maybe somebody's got a drippy nose. <laughs> okay, it could be real. All of it's real, number one. Number two, why am I concerned about this? This is a readiness issue, guys. A 100% military readiness issue. When your health goes down, you are combat ineffective to me. AISC grads in here have heard me say this before. The OWS is my weapon system. Each one of you is my ammunition. Every time I go out there and I have one last bullet, that's one bullet closer to me running in the wrong direction. I don't plan on running in the wrong direction. I plan on having a full load, and each one of you guys is going to help me do that. And when you're taken out because of health issues, um, then we've degraded the capability of this squadron. So, Dr. Pump, I turn it over to you. If you had the last time, thank you for coming out again. And uh, the floor is yours. Good afternoon. Um, for those of you who have not seen me, I do recognize quite a few faces out there, but I know not all of you have been to see me. Staff Sergeant Ramka is here with me. He's one of my medical technicians, okay? And we are, as a team, uh, we are the uh, primary care team for the 21st Weather Squadron. Um, so some of you may not belong to me. You may have a different PCM, but the goal is to have specific units, uh, everybody in the unit and their families assigned to one provider. So that there's continuity of care. You get to see the same provider. Your family gets to see the same provider. We can address family issues, those kind of things along with that. And then your commander will also uh, be able to communicate with me and I will know what your work environment is, what are some issues that are specific to your job. Having the single point of contact has been uh, the lifesaver here that I don't have to wait. I can call a single number, direct to the nurse and get uh, information on the spot or talk directly with uh, Dr. Klump to do this. There are lots of STDs here, okay? They're, they're all around and like I said, we see people every week. Um, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't talk to you about this if it wasn't an issue. I want to reiterate uh, about the HPV vaccine. Um, this is uh, an immunization like you guys got for, um, you know, measles, mumps, and rubella. Um, and we are trying to eradicate the HPV viruses that do cause cervical cancer. They can also cause penile cancer, okay? So if you were less than 26 and you have not had these immunizations, you can go just right over to the immunization clinic. The healthcare is not only just about them, it's about readiness of the squadron. And then when they're taken out of the fight, the squadron's overall mission starts to suffer at that point. Um, and then hopefully, uh, now at the end of the day, at the end of the second uh, commander's call like this, uh, 
the whole squadron can look at this and say I have a grasp of all the health issues that are out there so that me as an airman what can affect me me as a supervisor what might I come in contact with so I know how to address the airman who comes to me with a problem uh, and then the future leaders of flights and squadrons so they can look at it holistically as a readiness issue how do you keep that unit healthy for readiness purposes. In summary this squadron visits here at Ramstein Base have been very successful, not only from the squadron commander's point of view, but also the patients, the PCM teams, and not only the providers, but also the nurses and the technicians have really enjoyed these visits. They really enjoy giving presentations and getting to know their patients in their environment. We have noted that these visits are an essential part to achieve the goals of the quadruple aim from the PCM model not only from the obvious readiness component, but also for the population health and also the experience of care. If you have any questions in um, our experience here in Ramstein in how to set up the squadron visits, please do not hesitate to contact us here at Ramstein. Good luck.